it's Tomahawk and welcome back guys to Scrap Mechanics. Now today we're back. You guys seem to really enjoy the last car review. So today I'm standing on one foot. No, so today what we're gonna do is we are gonna do a helicopter review. Now I've been on the workshop once again and I found some really cool designs. So we are gonna check them out today and see how well I do not fly a helicopter, which is pretty, uh, yeah, pretty pretty self-explanatory. So these are cars we've got before. So these are kind of nice little mix of helicopters we've got today. We've got some, we've got the Tiger, we've got the MPW helicopter Mark II, normal helicopter, and then we've got these big, big, big battle helicopter. And we've also got an Apache one as well. So for today we're gonna start off with the little one, not the smallest one of the group. We're gonna start off with the Tiger one. So let's check that out and see how well it actually looks and flies. So let's get rid of that to start off with. Just looking at it to begin with, it looks like it's been put together very well. I like the whole, um, it's like a, it's, it's just, it's like, is eight blades there. That's, that's pretty crazy. It's pretty nuts. It's a nice design. It's orange. Um, it's, it's, I don't know how well this is going to go. I have been testing a couple of these to start off with. And the thing that I struggle with most with these helicopters is getting into them. Would you believe? So, let's make sure I get the right uh, passenger seat. Is this the driver's? Nope. See, that's a problem. That's a problem to start off with. I never know which side to get into. Okay. So... Let's see how well this is gonna go. Pressing other buttons to find out what does what. Okay, so that tilts the blades, which will be good for when we... Okay, that tilts the blades left and right with the first two keys. Wow, that really, someone's really spent some time on this. This is crazy. Backward and forward, that'll be really good for flying. That's powering them. Okay, let's turn it off a sec. Right, so let's power it up. The forward powers up the back rotors. We not seem to get a lot of lift at the moment. I think we might be getting somewhere. It's lift. It's lifting a little bit. It. This might be demonstrating how well I know how to fly a helicopter. Ah! It. 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 Okay. 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 Let's just get out of there. Okay. So my personal review for this one is, it's a beautiful design but uh, not the easiest to fly for novices such as myself. Okay, so the second helicopter we're gonna review today is the MPW Helicopter Mark II. Uh, this is one I didn't get a chance to test before we did this video, so I'm not really too sure how well it's gonna go. I think it's probably the best way to give an honest review on this one. All of these designs I got off a workshop, which you guys can always do. You can always check out the workshop on the Steam community and download them and give them tests out for yourself. Uh, let's see if I can get in the right side for driving today. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we seem to have the boost already on. Okay, so by turning your directions on the A and D pad, that determines which way you're going to go like that. Uh, forwards is pushing the back boosters. Backwards does nothing. Okay, let's try this out. I feel like I need another person first to balance it out a little bit. I have no idea what that's supposed to be doing. That's starting off the engine, so it's going up to begin with. It's going quite well. It turns very good. The propulsion system on the back makes it a little bit easy to control. This is looking pretty good. It's a nice design. It's simple. The blades are really thin. Okay, let's try moving about a little bit. I still no idea what... Oh. Yeah, I might just cut off the engines a little bit. Okay, I might have broken it a teeny bit. But I need to get away from these trees. I seem to be stuck. Okay, so what I've learned so far from today is um, don't fly anywhere near where these trees when testing helicopters to start off with. I really like this design. It's very simple. It works very well. It's not too complicated. Uh, I've still no idea what this kind of like rotary thing does at the back. I've, I've not, I've no idea. It seems to work pretty well with a flying. It handles really well. It looks nice. It's a pretty good helicopter. Let's see how she lands. Pretty good. Okay, so our next helicopter today is simply called the helicopter. Uh, it is a really small design. Uh, I think it's just going to be mainly relying on these uh, jet, uh, on the jets to get it going. Uh, I've no idea how I'm supposed to get in. Like that, I suppose. And it's. Oh, hang on a second. So what does this... Okay, so the one kind of like pushes it up. If we start with the engines, 
and that kind of controls it. Okay. Um. This is very difficult to control. This is very difficult to control. I'm having, I'm having some issues here. Uh, mayday! Mayday! Going down! Going down! Going down! Going down! Stuck in a tree. Um. I like the look of it, but the handling is uh, a little bit somewhat to be desired. At the moment, it makes a pretty good. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so the next helicopter we're checking out, this is called a helicopter rotor type. Uh, it's one I got for workshop as well. It looks pretty cool. I do say, I do have to say, I do like the look of it. Uh, it's not like your conventional looking helicopter, but it's all about how it flies. So if I can get in. First time. Okay, so let's power this baby up. So, ooh, okay, this opens up the flaps of the side to kind of see what's inside and all the mechanics of it. Twos for boost. Threes for downwards boost. This is for kicking off the rotary. And then we've got a radio. Okay. Um, it turns pretty good. It's not really... Oh, we are getting a little bit off the ground. I don't know if that's helping. Okay, so if we press 2, that I should get us boosted up out of here. Maybe away from the tree. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad piloting. Um, okay, I seem to have got out of the vehicle. The vehicle is now hurtling down the hill. Okay, let's let's see if we can, if we can uh, get you back onto some legs. Right, so this time, if we start the engines up, that's a horn. If we start the engines up, and we also press 2, which gives it a little extra boost, which will get us a bit more vertical. Oh, please, please go up, please go up. It's working pretty good at the moment. I feel that I need to hold 2. Right, okay, so you hold 2 to gain some height, which is like the bottom boosters. Then it pretty works pretty well, actually. Uh, Let's have a little play about with the buttons a little bit. That does make it look pretty good. Okay, so you press 3 for going down. 2 for going up. And that's for cutting the engine off completely. It works pretty well. The handling, it doesn't quite... It turns pretty well, but it doesn't have like on a... It doesn't rotate and such, but it's pretty good. I like this design. It's really cool. It's fun looking and it works. It actually goes up, which is always a good point on a helicopter. Now... All we need to do is find somewhere to land and then we can check out the next one. Not bad. Right, the next helicopter we are checking out today is the Apache. Now we all know how beast pa Apache <laughs> helicopters are. So this one should be pretty good. Um, it it kind of looks a little bit intimidating, I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully we can A, get in it to start off with and then B, hopefully it's going to fly pretty well. Is this kind of like a little footstool? That is good. That is considerate. That gets us in a lot easier. Right. So that closes the hatches. Two fires up your engines. Three's doing nothing at the moment. And four is opening up the back so you can get more people in. Okay. Let's see how this flies. Okay. So three changes the angle of the jets. Uh, change angle back. Right, okay. Let's get up in the air to start off with. Ooh, Mr. Tree, Mr. Tree, Mr. Tree. It does turn pretty well, and it does look pretty good. It's not the best handling helicopter I've ever used. And you need to constantly change between uh, changing the jets to face up so you can keep your height, and then also avoiding trees too. This is a problem with helicopters. They crash easily, and I'm stuck. Abandon ship! Well, it's not ship. Abandon helicopter! We're going down! Mayday! Mayday! Uh, that's my bad. Um, let's move on to the next one. The next build we have is the battle helicopter. Now, look at that. This looks absolutely crazy. Things are all supposed to be rockets and stuff. And a huge fan on there with some jets on. This thing looks absolutely amazing. I'm really excited to fly this. This is one which I did not fly prior to this video. This is one I want to test from fresh and see how we get it. Look at it. It looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, look how amazing it looks. It looks so good. 
Right, so let's test it out. Let's see how well this thing fires. Okay, so we've got to learn the buttons. Okay, maybe if we put these on forward tilt. Okay, so we've got the jets which come up. Okay, so these first two buttons are kind of like to stabilize it. It must have some like kind of wing system. Okay, that's making it adjust, which is pretty cool, pretty clever. Okay, that's a going that way for tilting it that side and that side. Okay, this is pretty good. So all we need to do now is this is how we kind of go forward. We've got to tilt the fans that way and the jets and the boosters. This thing does go pretty well and it handles really good too. And it goes really high as well. Okay, let's not go too high. Now the only problem with this is it's kind of just going one way up. Let's change that. So going super high now. Super high. Okay, this is angling it down a little bit more, which is a bit better. Oh, pull up. Pull up. I think that was a pretty beast landing. I have to say that was that was pretty pretty on point, that landing. It's doing all right. We don't even need those other jets to go up. This thing's got plenty of power. You know, it handles really well. It's really nimble. Awesome. So that is the battle helicopter. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this one is pretty beast. This is the Tilt Helicopter V1. This thing is huge. Absolutely ridiculous. Is this going to fly? I hope so. Am I going to die? Uh, I don't think that's possible, but... We'll give us a we'll give us a go. Okay. Whoa, this is this is it's a lot of there's a lot of fans up there. Okay. Okay, so one's for boosters underneath. Two so boosters at the back. So maybe press them at the same time. Oh, hello. What happened then? Oh, I just removed something. I hope it wasn't anything important. Okay, that's for tilting beast forward, which will be the main propulsion system, and we've closed the back up. Okay, let's put that back and let's try and get this off the ground. Using all our little tricks that we can. We're slowly getting off the ground. This is full power. This is full power. Okay, we're getting there now. We're getting there. I'm holding all the boosters. Okay, activating a front propulsion system. Oh my goodness, this thing is ridiculous. This thing is ridiculously difficult to fly to. Look at his face. I'm sure he's absolutely... Yeah, we just turned off the engines. Yep, yeah, we're going down. We're going down. We're going down. We're going down. Okay. We can get this back up in the air. We can we can do this, I believe we can. This thing is ridiculously difficult to control. And now we're stuck in a tree. Let's get out of this tree. Okay, on that point, we're gonna move on to the next helicopter. Okay, so this is the last helicopter for today's video. This is the, now let me sure I get this right because I do want to say the name wrong. It suddenly made my game incredibly laggy. Uh, it, this is the, hang on a sec, we'll just redo it. This is the swash plate is it the swash plate of rotor? This is crazy. Um, yeah, this one looked like absolutely amazing. It was the most colorful. So let's see uh, how this one handles. I'm very nervous about this. That's passenger seat. It's really gone super really laggy in here. Okay, let's just try it the best we can. This thing's got a lot of switches, a lot of bells, a lot of whistles. Okay, so that's a mo moving. It's got like a, pr a hydraulic system on it. Okay, wow, this thing is really complicated. This is turning the bottom bit. That's the tilting it up and down. So let's change the rotaries to that. Okay, this is very complicated. This is super complicated to fly. Okay, I just want to turn the rotors. You've got to pick which way you want them to go. I picked the wrong thing to review this week. Did go up. It's gonna go. Eh, uh, goodbye, helicopter. Goodbye. Um, I'm not gonna stop that. So, guys, that is it today for this sweet scrap <laughs> mechanic review. I hope you've enjoyed the helicopters. That one's gone. Say goodbye to that. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to see what you want to see me review next. But I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for watching. And remember, even when you shouldn't have really reviewed helicopters, uh, you still gotta risk it for a biscuit.